if you register your domain with Google Domains and you also want to point out your domain to hash node blog, then this video is for you. And especially if you don't want to uh, map out your root domain to your hash node blog. Um, in my case, I want to map out my subdomain to hash node blog and I didn't find any solution over the internet. I searched a lot. There was no such solution. So I figured out my own. So this is what I'm going to talk about from the scratch. How to map your subdomain to your hash node blog and especially when you register your domain with Google Domains. If you want to know how to do that, this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So this is divided into three parts. First, introduction. The second is problem I ran into. And the third is the solution to this problem. So firstly, if you don't know Hashnode, I'm hosting my blog at Hashnode. Thank you so much to Hashnode for creating this awesome platform for developers and allowing us to express ourselves via blogging. So I registered my domain with Google Domains and I'm hosting my blog at Hashnode. I'm so grateful for that to both of them, to Google and Hashnode for providing these awesome services. So let me first start with the problem I ran into and I couldn't find the complete solution from A to Z in one place over the internet. So I had to find it my own and connect all the dots myself. And I speculate that others might also be facing the same issue. So here I'm going to share a step-by-step -step process to fix this issue which will save you tons of time, efforts and energy. So basically what we are going to do here, we are going to point out our, our subdomain means we are going to map out our subdomain to our hash node blog uh, rather than pointing out our root domain. So I register my domain, this domain with Google and I, after signing up a hash node account, I wanted to run my blog under my subdomain. This is what, what the subdomain is. So let's move to the next step, the solution to this problem. And here I'm going to share step-by-step -step solution, which you need to follow to map your subdomain to your hash node blog. So here's the step one. So click and now you have to be here on hashnode.com uh, and over the right hand side click your avatar icon on the top right of any page if you if you are on any page you can do that it's always there so click your avatar icon on the top right of any page and select my blog from drop down like this and now click on a uh, blog dashboard or there is one more scenario now, now let's suppose you signed up for hash node and you didn't uh, created your blog yet so in that case let me show you another scenario in that case if you haven't created any blog yet and you just signed up for hash node account then click on avatar icon on the top right corner of any page and select manage your blogs from the drop down menu like this. Now click on blog dashboard. Now let's move to the step two. Now you are in your blog dashboard and under general settings menu, you will find the domain at the bottom. Click on it. And the third step is now click on custom domain. Now enter your subdomain. Now you need to enter without HTTP or HTTPS. So this is how you need to do it. And here's my subdomain followed by my blog, uh, domain name. And then hit the update button. Now here blogging is my subdomain and this is my root domain my main domain. So you need to click update. Uh, now you will see something like this. All are great. So you can see this that's DNS config, SSL uh, and status all are disabled because the subdomain isn't propagated yet. In other words, the subdomain isn't mapped yet. It's not mapped right now. So it's so hash node is constantly checking it right now and it's showing it's gray disabled condition because it is not mapped yet. 
so the right way is either you can do it in this way first your add your subdomain in hash node and then go to your uh, google domains and and map out your domain or you can do vice versa which i usually do so first map out your domain from uh, your google domains or from any registrar but here we are talking about google domains in past i did it in other ways uh, so here you can do first from google domains map out and then you come over to hash node and configure it like this so now let's move to the step five um, now go to uh, domains.google and this is the complete url now click on manage then uh, the next step is then click on DNS from the left side menu we are going to the next step which is now you have to enter three pieces of information host name type and data now here it's you need to be very careful I'm going to guide you over here and this is what you need to fill in host name you have to write your uh, subdomain only subdomain so in my case it's blogging and in type field you need to select C name you don't have to select a a record uh, we have to select C name because a record we select when we have to enter the uh, IP address and we don't know the IP address of hash node because there could be many it's not in under uh, in our control uh, uh, in paid hosting we usually do this but uh, here we it's not a paid hosting it they are providing for free so uh, they provide their network address uh, I, I, I guess it's called network address uh, in type field you need to select C name and in data field you have to enter hash node dot network and now the next step is uh, you have to hit the save button and you will see something like this so next let's go to the last step which is ninth step now go back to your hash node dom, uh, dashboard to check the status of your domain mapping and you will find something similar to the to like this you will see uh, DNS config is enabled SSL is enabled status is enabled so all are showing in green color which means your subdomain is propagated successfully now in other words subdomain is mapped so <laughs> it's a good it's a big success great um, cheer on so now let's check our subdomain it's working or not oh yes it's working it's working now so this is how I fix the issue and I hope it will help you to get this done for your subdomain without wasting hours or days searching endless articles and going through a massive energy draining process. So thank you so much for being with me up until this point and I also write it a blog post along with it. So if you are interested I mentioned the link in the description. So consider subscribing to my channel and also to my blog. Um, and you can get updates on my progress journey which will be very helpful to you and because I will uh, help you along the way to shortcut your path by sharing more solutions and insights based on my own experience. Thank you so much.